Hi, I am Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center and today I wanted to share with you about the Netgear MIMO directional antenna. And we do a lot of testing here of various cellular signal enhancing gear from boosters to different antennas that we mount on top of the RV. But what makes this one unique is it's suction cups on the inside of a window or there's also an attachment that can go in the back of a laptop. This antenna is a directional antenna, which means it is focusing its gain in front of this panel and behind the panel. So it's not a 360 around like an omnidirectional. That means that the gain that it does have is very focused and gives you more performance. It also has a very short cable. It's about between two and three feet long, which means there's minimal signal loss. So the gain that it is getting is not being lost as much in a long cable that you might have to run from the roof of your RV to the inside. It also has TS9 uh, connectors, and those are the types of inputs that come in on mobile hotspot port, uh, antenna ports that a lot of these devices are coming with now. And that means they just plug right in without needing any adapters. Again, something that is not going to have signal loss. This is also a MIMO antenna, and that stands for multiple in, multiple out. Essentially, that means there's two antennas inside this little black panel coming through the wire and then going into each of the antennas coming into the mobile hotspot. It's kind of like having two ears and listening in stereo. So it can hear two different signals that it might be picking up and combine them to give you the best performance. When you're using a booster, you're really only using one antenna, amplifying it and then shouting it louder. And basically what that's doing is covering up one ear and amplifying the other. And it's going to be louder, but not necessarily better. And we find in our testing, MIMO antennas tend to outperform boosters, but this little guy in particular is even outperforming our MIMO antennas on top of our roof because of the directional and that shorter antenna. Now the downside to this is of course that you're going to have to point it into a window that is facing the tower that you're trying to connect to, which that might take a little bit of trial and error at each stop. This isn't going to be something that you set up once and leave it like you would with an antenna on your roof. Um, the TS9 adapters means it's pretty much only going to plug into a mobile hotspot unless you use adapters to go into other sorts of devices. So this is really optimized and meant for mobile hotspot devices like jetpacks and MiFi's. Um, and you know, it is a short cable, which means that you're not going to have a lot of room to place your mobile hotspot further away from the antenna. So if you need to, oh, perhaps reach a power source to keep this powered on, that might become a problem. Uh, we frequently find the front windshield is where we need to plug this in at, and we don't have power up there. So we wake up in the morning and our batteries drain because these can only go maybe 12, 24 hours. Um, you also want to be careful if you're putting it in a window that if the sun is shining in on it, you could cause overheating to the device, which can shut it down. So do be very aware of those things when you're using a window mounted antenna and having to keep the device so close. But the performance gain that we're seeing on this guy is pretty great. And I'll put a, a chart up showing you the differences between base readings with a booster and with this MIMO antenna. The best part, this is pretty much the cheapest option we test. This can be had for under $30. We think it can be an essential tool in almost any RVer or boater's arsenal to have as something you can pull out and try. It doesn't take a lot of setup and it can really give you some enhanced signal performance.